All right, a uh, couple things. Number one, Father gave a great talk about being engaged in the political life. We live in a representative democracy. That means that we as Catholics, when we go before the judgment seat, we're going to have to give an account about how we represented and comported ourselves amongst our fellow citizens. We can't cop out and say we lived in a dictatorship. We can't cop out and say we had a king that was in charge of us. We live in a place where we are called, we are mandated, we are required to be engaged. The first step is to be registered to vote. Hopefully you are registered. If you're not, go get registered. It is so easy today to get registered, you can't even imagine. But the second part is to be updated on the issues. To be informed so that you can vote your conscience, a well-formed conscience. SB 128, Senate Bill 128, is a piece of California state legislation. It's being proposed, and the proposal is that doctors in California be given the authority when requested by a patient who meets certain requirements that they be given permission to give those patients lethal medications that will kill themselves. Some people call this assisted suicide. Some people might call this death with dignity. What we call this is an affront to the dignity of the human person. Not only for the person who's being considered for taking the medication for which there's no reversal. Once you're dead, you're dead. But this legislation is also an assault on the dignity of the person who is involved in the healthcare delivery system. The doctor who takes an oath to uphold human life, this legislation is a complete opposite of that. It denigrates the caregivers, the nurses who care for the patients who are ill and need to be taken care of. And it also denigrates the survivors, the family and loved ones of a person who might take their life. Suicide is never an option. And what we in the California, state of California right now, our legislators, the people who we've elected, are considering is whether human life doesn't have value or it only has a certain quantifiable value. This legislation is bad policy, it's bad medicine, it's a bad idea. Now, where is SB 128? It's a piece of legislation that has been proposed by a group calling themselves Death with Dignity. Uh, they used to be called the Hemlock Society. Hemlock is a drug that you take to commit suicide. For whatever reason, it didn't pull well that name, so they changed their name. <laughs> death with Dignity. As if a beautiful holy death doesn't have dignity, I don't know. Anyway, they changed their name. They're a huge lobby. They're putting a ton of money behind this. And uh, they got legislation proposed. Uh, today, there was a bit of good news. It was announced that in the Senate committee, SB 128 was removed from active consideration in committee and put into the suspense file. In other words, it's not actively moving forward. You might think that's a good thing. And it is. It's not moving forward. Yet it's very tricky because at any moment, our opponents, the people who are pro-assisted suicide, when they feel that the polling is right inside the Senate or inside the California Assembly, they can slide it back in, get it voted on in committee, and then take it to the whole Senate. Now again, the way the legislation works is once something's approved in the Senate, it goes over to the legislature, it's voted on there. If it goes up, then the governor can sign or not. In the state of California, we have an uh, overwhelming majority in the Assembly in, uh, on the Democrats who are uh, the majority support this legislation. And we have a governor who support, we hasn't, he hasn't taken a position yet on it, but he is a Democrat. So our time as pro-lifers is now. We're never going to have more momentum than we have right now, even though it's been put into the suspense file. We cannot let up being informed, being engaged, or being active. Everybody probably has a phone. I'm going to encourage you to take out your phone, go onto your Facebook app, open your Facebook app, and go to Californians Opposed to Suicide. 
on Facebook, Californians opposed to suicide. Like it, and you'll just get information that will come in and give you talking points, give you awareness on the legislation, will help you stay engaged. The enemy, the devil that Mark was talking about, thinks that we're just going to fall asleep at the wheel and we're going to be distracted by, you know, did the Clippers win tonight or did they not, or who's playing uh, at, at the Troubadour. That doesn't matter. What matters is how informed and engaged we are and how we live our lives. This political bill, SD 128, is something that we can and will and must stop. Okay? SD 128.